Hi everyone, this is Heidi. And this is Franny. With Heidi and Franny's Garage. And today Franny is gonna teach me how to park. And not just park, it's actually parking backwards. So a lot of times we go to car shows and you have to pull in backwards and you it, it, it makes sense to have the ability to do it anyway you know if you're going to a rock concert or whatever and so I've been bothering Franny for several months now to help me out here so yeah anyway. so we're gonna go through a little a little procedure that we can use to that Heidi can replicate when we go to the car shows and she'll be able to easily back the car in the Ferrari is a bit difficult the visibility isn't so great so we're starting with the 993 Okay, so it's a it's an easy car to drive, easy clutch, and you can see backwards with the top down. So right. that's our car for today. So that's up next on Heidi and Franny's Garage. <laughs> Okay, so we found a we found a vacant parking lot here, so we can be by ourselves. We have two cones set up at the end of the parking um, slot here, so that's cool. Now this other cone that you see that's over here, this uh, one that just looks like it's out in the middle of nowhere, is actually our target cone. So what I'm going to do is I'll demonstrate. We'll drive in here. You drive in fairly close to the to the slots here and then you drive past and then out. And most people don't just don't drive far enough past. That's usually the problem. So um, that's where that cone is. And I'll go ahead and run this once and you can see uh, pretty much what I'm talking about. Thank you. 
far out. And too far there. Oh! I can't even see the colors. Yeah, but you're not even close. You're literally halfway over into the other spot. What you didn't do was go tight enough along the edge here. You were still out in the middle and then you went like this. You need to skim the edge of these white lines to give yourself enough room and head for that cone. So try it again. I'll turn that way. There you go. That looks great. Straight a little bit. Yep. Now hard. More. More. Good. Yep. That's it. Straight back. Just straight back. That's it. You got it. That's it. That's perfect. Those are too short, aren't they? I can't see. No, the, but that's the thing. It's going to be difficult to see. You're going to have to strain. So, but that was it. You came nice and tight on the white lines this time, and you weren't all out there. And you turned up, and you went straight back in, and you, you came in just right. That's exactly the way to do it. Oh, oh, you turn too early and you'll always end up too, too close on this side. Now you didn't go quite far enough, so start your turn earlier now. You can still recover, but it's gonna be a pretty tight turn to get in. Yep, you saved it. Yep, that's it. Perfect again. So Franny put up with me bitching and moaning while we worked our way through this. Oh, we got through it. We, we got, got through, through it. it. I think um, yep. I think I'm a little better. Oh yeah, sense. you're way better. <laughs> yeah, you totally nailed it. So at first she was having trouble with... Um, As you'll see in the footage. Right, <laughs> right. not being quite close enough yeah. um, to the right side as she's driving in and then turning too early right these are the mistakes that everybody makes right and then trying to wrench the steering wheel over before you turn backwards and that's just not the way to go you want to pull forward you want to be as close as you can to the right side uh -huh. you want to pull forward as soon as your your right front wheel goes on the second line of the spot that you're trying to get into you turn to the left you pull out and then the big trick is then you go back straight a little bit 
and then turn. And it'll also make it a lot easier in cars that don't have power steering as well. So, right. So um, I learned three new things today, and that yep. is that normally I think I start turning my, if you're next to the spots and they're on your your uh, passenger side, and um, at least in this country, um, if you pull all the way forward, I start turning my wheels as soon as I pass the spot I wanted. And so what I really need to do is not turn my wheels to the left until I got to the end of that spot that yep. I wanted. And yep. so that was the first thing I learned. The second thing I learned once I turned sharply was when I backed up, I normally would immediately turn the wheel very sharply. And then I would I would be too um, close to the the le uh, passenger side car. Mm -hmm. the far end. So instead, what I learned was to go back for probably one or two feet just straight from where I was and then start turning the wheel. Yep. So and it worked um, every time. It did. Yeah. So. so hopefully I'll be able to repeat it at car show. We'll have to watch when we go to some car shows. Yeah. I think there's one next weekend, so <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Good test. Okay. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell as well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of other videos coming out. We have a little Ferrari Toodle video that's coming out. And we have lots of other stuff coming down in the pike. So, um, yeah. So, please stay stay tuned. We, we try to upload every Saturday. That's kind of our thing. Right. And uh, at least at this point it is. Yeah. So, um, Until next time, safe travels. And we'll see you soon. Yep. Take care. Bye.